Boa noite, Siddhartha. É um prazer estar aqui nessa entrevista contigo. Uh, a Covid-19 chegou no, no momento uh, em, em que ela se sobrepôs a outras doenças que já existiam, continuarão existindo, como o câncer. Né? E um estudo publicado pela University College London, é, no, The, no British Medical Journal, mostrou, por exemplo, uma, uma redução de 76% uh, dos encaminhamentos de pacientes com suspeitas de câncer, impactou também em quimioterapia, cirurgia, radioterapia. Uh, qual é a orientação para esses pacientes, essas pessoas que precisam uh, manter essa questão tão importante como o distanciamento social, mas ah, ao mesmo tempo é, elas estejam atentas aos sinais do corpo, enfim, a buscar esse diagnóstico e manter o tratamento do câncer. Sim, yeah, so um, you're raising a very important point. Um, uh, I can tell you what we have done and what um, I think many other places have tried to do. We have carved out separate places within the hospital where cancer treatment can continue during the middle of the pandemic. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, it requires a very intensive surveillance and testing. Um, basically, in those wards uh, where patients are undergoing chemotherapy, um, there you, you, you cannot enter those wards without a, a test, uh, and uh, if, unless you're tested negative. And patients uh, who, are, um, who have cancer and who happen to have a uh, COVID infection, unfortunately, have to wait until they have been tested negative to be able to re-enter the wards. So we and others have really sealed uh, to, uh, the best, uh, to, uh, to the best of our abilities, um, healthcare workers and patients to ensure that they are COVID negative uh, and that their normal cancer care can continue. Uh, patients with chemotherapy and compromised immune systems obviously have a greater danger of getting complications from uh, uh, from COVID-19. Um, and so uh, we have been especially careful um, in monitoring those patients, monitoring their symptoms, asking them to maintain isolation, uh, doing, uh, you know, asking them to maintain masks and hand hygiene, and be, to be especially vigilant. And uh, to be honest, we have uh, been able to I would say mostly deliver um, the appropriate cancer care to uh, patients. Um, in cases where surgery was, uh, or cancer uh, therapy could have been delayed uh, for uh, entirely valid reasons, we have pushed those back. Uh, in cases where it, it was uh, an impossible, we've still continued as best we could uh, using all of these things, testing, sealing the facility and ensuring that it's clean uh, and really in, really separating out the COVID wards from the, um, from the cancer wards uh, as much as possible.